E3 hype train cometh, fueled by games both big and small. Here's one we've got our eyes on, and you should too. There isn't a lot of information on Persona 5, but we do know it will retain the school setting the series is known for. The game will also feature the motifs of restraint and liberation, with its current tagline, you are a slave, want emancipation. While Persona 3 wraps itself in blue to accent its theme and Persona 4 is soaked in yellow, Persona 5 utilizes red, giving off a much more aggressive and violent vibe. The game will also use a brand new in-house engine, so we'll finally get to see Mara in HD. Simply put, Persona is one of the best ongoing JRPG series right now, and they only get better with each iteration. Persona 4 is a critical darling, and rightfully so. It is a well-developed and likable cast, enveloping story, and a stellar soundtrack. Even with almost nothing to go on outside of a cryptic teaser, Persona's track record gives us plenty of reason to be excited about the next entry. It's also comforting to know that Katsura Hashino, Shigenori Sojima, and Shoji Maguro will all be reprising their roles as director, character designer, and music producer, respectively. It's so exciting! Our biggest concern is that Atlas will adhere too closely to the adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If Persona 5 just ends up feeling a lot like Persona 4 in HD, we'll be sorely disappointed. Hopefully, Persona 5 will take a cue from Shin Megami Tensei 4, which kept many familiar hallmarks while still feeling distinct from Nocturne. We'd be satisfied with the trailer showcasing the battle system and characters, but in our heart of hearts, we want Persona 5 to be playable. Scheduled to be released this winter in Japan, a demo isn't completely out of the question. We just don't want to get our hopes up too much. Oh, is this scoring a hot stud? Persona 4 makes a sharp jab at an in-game book that's very obviously meant as a reference to the popular Twilight novels. The main character states that the book is almost physically painful to read. We're counting down the days to the Electronic Entertainment Expo with 30 games in 30 days, culminating in our own top 10 anticipated games of E3 on June 6th. Rest up over the weekend and then come back to game trailers on the 9th for all the press conferences, trailers, and announcements, along with exclusive demos and interviews on our all-access stage. Hey, Michael Damiani. What? Would you be friends with me again? Yes. Will you give me Jeff Keeley's email? No. Please? Okay.